Thanks. It has been more than 48 hours since a contractor struck a water main and cut off water service to several Pittsburgh neighborhoods. There was progress today in making repairs, but thousands of people are still being told to boil their water. John Shumway joins us live now with information on how businesses there are trying to deal with this problem. John? Yeah, the progress is definitely the good news. They've gotten all the water now restored on both sides of the West End bypass. However, that boil water advisory does stay in effect. So tonight, like here on Mount Washington, from the Lamont behind me up to Monterey Bay, they didn't even bother to turn on the lights tonight. It's been two days since this contractor's whoops caused the Shaler Street geyser and drained the water out of Mount Washington to Cane Heights and portions of the West End. Two dinner hours later, the fine dining restaurants on Grandview are all shuttered tonight. There are ways that they can operate as long as they um, take those precautions. Those precautions aren't easy, but are required by the boil water advisory in effect until state required tests determine that the water is safe. Just over the hill at the Bingham Tavern, they called the health department and they sent us an informative packet that tells restaurants how to operate under the boil advisory. It is a 10 page document, but the tavern is determined to stay open. We have so many employees that rely on this as their income. So that's our first concern. So they put on the water to boil. We've switched all to bottled water, canned soda, and we're serving all of our food on disposables like our wax paper, some paper plates, things like that. If the test on the water done today come back clean tomorrow, the Mount Washington restaurants will be in the clear for their Friday night crowds on the weekend. However, the area on the other side of the West End bypass just got its water back this afternoon and now goes into that 48 hour testing phase. So this, this could push into the weekend. Yeah, so let me give you an idea of what we're talking about here. PWSA told me they expect to have the last test for this area back around noon tomorrow and could probably lift the boil water advisory at that point, giving the all clear here. On the other side of the West End bypass, the folks who just got their water back today, they've got to go through those two rounds of tests. It takes 48 hours, so we're talking about into Saturday before they get the all clear. Live on Mount Washington, John Shumway, KDKA News.